So a big news story in the UK this week has been, well it's relatively big, it's the Have I Got News For You. Ian Hislop and Paul Moten, who are the team captains on this show, have been were interviewed in the run-up to the new series. And a question about female hosts, Ian Hislop said that he thought most females may be too, mo- maybe too modest to host. And this sparked a bit of a row because some people were calling it sexist, saying that the reason women didn't want a host was due to an abrasive culture in, and had it being too rough in the, on the show. However, if you really think about it, that's at, in itself is quite sexist, saying that women can't take anything a man can, and it's really not specifically targeted at women, it's not abusive towards women, it's anybody who has appeared on the show has been, if they're a public figure, they've been scrutinised, they've been treated fairly, they've been asked about things you should really ask about. And I don't really think the gender imbalance in the host has been anything significant, it's just been to do with the general imbalance of gender in show business overall and politics and how there's not as many men, not as many women I mean, uh, who are famous and not as many women in politics as you would like. And I think the real story, just to describe Have I Got News For You as a sexist show because of the lack of women there, is really singling it out for something that's not entirely its fault. I mean, you could call Ian his up sexist, but to be perfectly honest, if you look at what the work he's done, he's always been a critic, he's never been a sycophant, he's always criticised anything the government is doing wrong, whether it be Labour or Conservative government, and he's always had a go. I mean, John Prescott came on, he was criticised very heavily. He was challenged by Ian Hislop, and you could feel the tension if you watched the video. Then you could, wa- you could watch him having a go at any of the Tory MPs that have ever been on. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I think I don't think it's that abrasive against women because one of the best hosts I've ever seen was Joe Brand. She was very brave and she took she slapped down all of the panelists when they were making light-hearted comments and trying to make light of the Westminster sexual harassment allegations at the time. And she reminded them that they weren't women and they maybe didn't know how it felt to have that kind of harassment directed at them. And that was really impressive to me. But what I think is the bigger issue is the way that the media is now digging into this because on one hand you've got the left who are going oh it's sexist and it's really misogynistic because Paul Moten complained about Anne Whittacombe saying she was an awful woman but that's not really sexist because Anne Whittacombe is to be fair in my opinion an awful woman she's voted against gay rights she's voted against gay marriage she thinks it's a sin she's religiously fundamental and she was the way Paul described it she was very arrogant to call her arrogant and sexist it's just true because she was assuming that she knew what was funny she was trying to tell the editors and the writers what was funny what wasn't she was trying to tell paul merton to be funny when he was being amusing in his own way she seemed to act like she knew everything and that's not really surprising if you look into what Anne willicom's like but my main issue is the way that julia hartley brewer who was on the show has used this to attack the left-wing Ramona bubble that the show apparently lives on, where they don't have enough right-wing representation or anything like that. Which is wrong, because they have Tory MPs on all the time, and they there isn't so much of this bubble, and this this rhetoric that she's pushing, this argument that she's trying to use, it's just an, a way to discredit anyone who criticises her agenda. Anyone who uses it is just trying to use it to discredit people whose agenda, because when you start criticising it, from if the BBC finds it starts arguing with the Conservative, they're like, oh, it's just the left-wing propaganda, liberal bias, and it's really counterproductive and it prevents us having a proper discussion about the issues at hand. And I really, if, it's really frustrating when people do this because it's not that true. The government, BBC in my opinion, is reasonably balanced. There's not that much bias towards either side probably mostly pro-establishment, so that depends on which government it is. But Ian Hislop and Paul Merton are maybe slightly left-wing, but they're not left-wing bubbles, they're not living in bubbles, they're attacking from the point of common sense, and they they do have an awful lot of regard for Brexit, that's granted, comedians do that a lot, but whether or not you support the idea of Brexit, it's really hard to argue that Brexit is being handled well, so to be fair it's a good it's ripe for comedy it's a good subject for comedy so i don't think it's fair to single out have i got news for you in this way and it's really indicative of how people on the left and right will use anything to have a go at something that has criticized them because the left are saying it's sexist the right is saying oh it's just a bubble and Really, I think it just shows that it's annoyed a lot of people by asking the right questions and by Ian Hislop challenging the right people in the right ways on the show. 
and I do not. I just think it's it's a good show. I like the show. It's good. It's a good format. It's intelligent discussion. Ian Hislop and Paul Moten know their facts, and I don't think they're sexist or abusive people. So I think to single the show out again, once again, is just wrong. So that that those are my thoughts on the thing. Uh, if you have any thoughts yourself or disagree with me, please feel free to comment, and I I might read over it and might maybe you'll change my mind. Who knows?